Médecins Sans Frontières said they'd been trapped by shelling in the town. They were trapped again when they came out by Federal Army tanks who insisted they travel by their route. So the convoy bounced over the fields. It could only have increased the pain of the 109 injured civilians on board these trucks. Michel Robert's patience was running thin. And my own purpose today is to lead a relief convoy with wounded people, that's all, and to withdraw from this town as much as possible wounded people. And inside the trucks in great pain they waited. Finally, the convoy rolled out past the federal lines, apparently on its way smoothly. And then this. An explosion near to the front of the convoy. A truck full of injured people had hit a mine between the federal and Croatian lines. The driver and two members of the aid team were blown clear of the cab. Doctors attended to them where they'd fallen. Next to the truck, another mine lay, hampering rescuers. Both sides call this a dirty war, and what more compelling image of that could there be than three people in a humanitarian convoy blown up by a mine on their way out of Vukovar? The agonizing process began of moving those already injured out of their wrecked evacuation truck. Nobody was killed in the blast, and this evening, one of the two injured had reached a Federal Army field hospital. Médecins Sans Frontières said after the explosion they doubted whether another convoy would attempt to move in tomorrow. Alex Thompson, ITN, on the Vukovar front.